are more ways than ever to remember your loved ones. We believe in every option to every family every time. We turn to Elisa Krisalik, Vice President of Mountain View Funeral Home Cemetery and Crematory in Mesa, Arizona, to learn about a few. First, a high-tech option for tombstones, QR codes. These QR codes, I recognize them from restaurant menus. Yes. How are you using them? On memorials in the cemetery, you can purchase a tag and you can put as the family whatever you want. You could put pictures, you could put video. You scan the code with your phone and it takes you to a personalized digital memorial page with photos, videos, and memories shared by family and friends. It's just the coolest thing for people to be able to connect in a living way with a memorial that's got their loved one's name and when they were born and when they passed away. You can also allow other people to upload their own photos. So it becomes a living tribute that continually gets updated. Next, to keep loved ones even closer, hand casts and thumbprint jewelry. Now this is fascinating to me. What is this and how did you do it? These are actual hand casts. Oh. Of, it could be your loved one. Mm -hmm. It could be you and your loved one. Okay. It could be a family. An artist can create a hand cast while someone is alive, but most often it's made after they're deceased. Relatives can hold their hands during this process. Feel the detail on that. Like yeah, you could it feel every, looks so realistic isn't that too. Cool? In this mm -hmm. case, she had rings on, so you can see the detail of her wedding ring. Some people are very tactile. That's right. The sense of touch is very That's important. Right. And so this 3D representation yes. is very, well, hands-on. There you go, <laughs> exactly. And with thumbprint jewelry, you can carry a little memento of your loved one with you wherever you go. These prints are also obtained before or after the person has passed. Where well, you can take your loved one's print mm -hmm. and you can have it into a ring, a necklace, or even like a dog tag. Elisa says a grandmother made these for her 11 grandchildren with a message engraved. Finally, DNA storage. This actually will hold your DNA. It's like a genetic time capsule. Now, if there's been no blood transfusions, we take a vial of blood. Okay. If there's been a blood transfusion, then we use hair follicles. A recent blood transfusion could distort the DNA, so hair follicles are used in those cases instead. They do a complete mapping, and the actual DNA is stored in this tube. Down the road, it can help you research genes related to healthcare decisions or even genealogy. Anytime you would want to have something tested from it, then we would send the tube back in. So yeah. everything you could do with a DNA test, you could do now after the fact because yes. you have preserved it. Yeah. New ways you can keep memories of loved ones alive at the top of the list.